Oh my God, your bathroom. It's insane. We're stuck in the 80s. Maurice, we need your help. Hey there, this is Design of the Times, a series celebrating Lowe's Home Improvement's 100th birthday. I'm your host and designer, Maurice Harris. I'm helping homeowners make over spaces from various decades. Today, I'm super, super excited. I'm working with Kim and Aaron on a crazy 1980s bathroom. Welcome to our retro 80s style bathroom. So when we first moved here, we fell in love with the house, but not so much the bathroom. First thing you see when you walk in is this two foot high red tub. Pretty sure it was cool back in the 80s. We don't mind the black and white, white tiles. tiles. We just think that the whole entire tub just kind of like smacks you in the face with all the boldness and, and all the brightness and the colors. The floor, just, you know, out of date. We also got the heat lamp that actually works. This vanity is kind of long and it looks like there should be two sinks in here. Yeah, mornings are usually crazy when I'm trying yeah. to get my six-year-old to brush her teeth as well as me and she's like, Mom, move over! And <laughs> there is a lot of counter space, it's unused, and gold fixtures and everything. We're just ready to, you know, bring it up to date. Just looking for a bathroom that's serene, that I can come in here after long days of work and just relax. And, you know, we need some help bringing it back to life. So, Maurice, we need your help. Hi, Kim. Hi, Aaron. Hi, hey, Maurice. Maurice. Oh, my God. Your bathroom. It's insane. We're stuck in the 80s. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. Well, tell me a little bit about your style. Like, what is the vibe that you're kind of wanting to go for? Not as bold, not yeah, a red. Yeah, we, yeah. we don't want but the red, red tub. tub. Yeah. What do you mean? You don't want a big, red, huge tub it's huge. that takes two no feet way. to step yeah. over? Here's the thing. I actually think there's something interesting going on in that space. However, with all of the different things that are going on, I think it's closing in that space. I mean, that dark tile on the floor, we need to like brighten that space up. For this being your main bathroom, I think we need to add an extra sink there. I think we need to retile the whole thing. We've obviously got to get rid of that red bathtub. We can bring it to my house and I'll figure out what to do with it. <laughs> but it yes. just is not working in this space. And then those fixtures, I love gold. Don't get me wrong, I love a gold moment, but we've got to refine it and step it up a level. What do you say? Yes, I, I agree. agree. Definitely agree. <laughs> All right, y'all. Get the heck out of here. We gotta go. We got a lot of work to do, and we'll see you back in a little bit for the big reveal. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. We can't Marie. wait. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. The 80s had a wide variety of styles to offer the world. You go from pastels, tints, and florals, all the way to Memphis design. Creativity was at a peak, and you can see a little bit of everything still remaining in Kim and Aaron's bathroom. Hello, Red Tub! The 80s were also really big for Lowe's too, as we bloomed from a small store to a huge box retailer, offering tons more product and options for customers. 1979 through 1981 saw Lowe's become publicly traded in the US and London. Okay, y'all, I've got my work cut out for me, and this first big job is demo. So when it comes to the tub, I'm all for a statement piece, but honey, the red was just way too much. We're gonna go with a more neutral porcelain tub that will allow the elements of the room to become more of a focal point. The black sheet linoleum screams 80s. So I'm replacing it with a marble look tile that still has that same veining, but it's in reverse. White tile with darker veins. It will brighten up this entire space. Laminate veneer vanities were the hallmark of the decade, but this single sink isn't ideal for a family of four. I'm replacing it with a wooden vanity featuring a double solid surface sink. The stone top will help retain that 80s vibe that we're still going for. It's similar to the black flooring we removed, but just not as dramatic. The combination of the wood and dark stone feels rich and yet cozy. We're getting our tile inspiration from the original black and white checkered pattern, but giving it a more contemporary feel by color blocking. 
The bottom half will be white and the upper half black. Straight stack square tile trended in the 80s. However, we're doing a twist on that with straight stack rectangular tiles instead and installing it on all the walls. Welcome to your new focal point. I was tasked with modernizing this bathroom, but I couldn't resist a little 80s pastel. We're painting the ceiling a lavender shade from the low centennial paint palette. The tone will perfectly soften the black and white tile and just add the right amount of unexpected playfulness. Mwah! So we're gonna add a couple of really glam arched mirrors, some new gold, but of course not brassy gold pendants, some shelves, towel hooks, and a few other accessories, and it's all we're gonna need to really pull this whole look together. Kim and Aaron are not gonna believe that this is the same space. I am so excited to show them. Here we go. Oh. Wow, oh, I am so, sh this is yeah. incredible. This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, I love Yo, it. look how much space, man. It's I know, so I never like, realized right? how big the bathroom was. Finally, the double yeah. sink. Can the this is my thing? side, this is my side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Naming and claiming yeah, already. He's already right, right. claiming this, this side. my sink, man. See, they still kept yeah. the black and white. And look at the floor. Yeah. <gasps> wow, this is uh -huh. nice, and look. No more red tub. Yeah, no more red tub. That is awesome. I love the tile. I'm so glad you guys like it. I mean, let's be honest. Anything was going to look a little bit better than that red tub. But as much as we thought the place was like a little tacky, there were some motifs that were really great. Like the black and white feature, it just needed to be updated. And as you can see, we went ahead and used brass fixtures, but it's brushed. It's a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit more refined. And how about that subtle nod to the lavender ceiling? What about that? Oh, oh that is lavender. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even notice yeah. that. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I love it. I, and I think the girls will love it too. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Yeah. Ray cry, man. Ray cry. He's so happy. Yeah! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Ray cry. Man. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. This is very beautiful. Thank you so much. Reese, man, you guys did an awesome job. I can't thank you guys enough. No. It was such a pleasure. It was such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, look at this. Man. Welcome to 2021. Woo-hoo! Yes. <laughs> Until we meet again, y'all, please use the link below and check out the new Lowe's Centennial Paint Palette. And of course, like and subscribe so that you are up to date with everything that we're up to.